new from Killer RC, we have the Killer B2 remote engine kill switch for large scale gas RC cars and boats. You might be familiar with our original Killer B and uh, it works great and it's designed to work with uh, three or four channel radios and the uh, the Killer B just plugs into the the uh, unused third channel on your radio receiver and you control it by flipping the auxiliary switch on your transmitter and you can kill the engine anytime you want or it will kill the engine uh, automatically if you go uh, out of range or lose battery power or, or whatever and uh, and that's great uh, but some guys don't have a three channel radio so we have uh, made the Killer B2 to work with two channel radios and here we have uh, an HPI AM two channel radio just a real cheap basic radio and we're going to plug in our Killer RC lithium battery pack and we're going to need a, uh, a Killer RC Y splitter here's a two way uh, we also make a, a four way if you want to power um, a voltmeter or race transponder or uh, headlights or whatever but uh, I'll hook this up real quick and uh, I'm just going to plug this into channel 1 you can uh, plug the splitter into any channel you want uh, the steering or the throttle and it'll work fine as long as you don't have a, uh, a built-in failsafe set up on your receiver the uh, some radios have a failsafe they can apply the uh, they can make the throttle servo apply the brakes when the car runs away uh, or loses uh, radio signal and uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't um, but uh, you don't want to have this plugged into a channel that has a fail safe set up so I'm going to plug this into our channel 1 which is our uh, steering and just paying attention to make sure we have the uh, the orange wires lined up and the brown wires lined up on one side brown brown wires or or black wires are the same thing brown is negative so always make sure those those line up because it is possible to plug it in backwards with a JR style plug and if you have it plugged in like this the uh, the Killer B2 will just have a constant flashing light and it won't work properly until you flip it around and plug it in the right way here's our uh, high-tech steering servo and a uh, throttle servo okay my receivers turned on and my uh, transmitter is powered on here and we've got a solid green light on our kill switch and that means that the uh, the engine can be started and can ra uh, can run if I wanted to kill the engine uh, all I would do is turn off the power switch on my transmitter the light has started uh, started flashing that means the engine is being killed Just turn the power back on and the uh, the light comes on solid again now, even though the uh, the Killer B2 is sharing a channel with our steering using the steering servo doesn't affect the Killer B2 at all you can see the light is still staying solid green allowing the engine to run the only thing that affects the Killer B2 is when it senses that signal has been lost between the receiver and the transmitter let's uh... let's simulate a radio glitch or or uh... batteries running down in your transmitter yeah, I just lost uh... power from my transmitter and now the kill switch has automatically start flashing and that means that it would kill the engine Now here's the wiring that uh, that comes with 
um, the Killer Bee kits uh, 3, 4, and 5. We make five different kits. Kits 3, 4, and 5 uh, come with this wiring. And uh, this wiring would just stick in that, uh, stick in these little two spots here. And it, it doesn't matter which wire goes where, red or green, it can go on either side. And we'll just take a uh, number three Phillips screwdriver, tighten those down. Put this in the battery box, run this under the gas tank. Take the engine cover off and connect these two uh, these two wires here to the ignition coil on the engine, and uh, it's as simple as that.